news for people who can't stand the news. All right. A New York Times article posted today showed an Obama on the down low. He was at a meeting, or a donor's meeting, I should say, a gathering fundraiser for Hillary Clinton, where he said some not-so-obvious uh, things about Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. He basically said it's time to circle the wagons and get Sanders up out of there for the sake of Hillary Clinton and coalescing and putting back together the Democratic Party. This happened just last week. Now, mind you guys, this was right after Michigan. Yeah, before Super Tuesday. Right after the historic record-setting turn of events that occurred in Michigan, he was telling donors, yes. Sanders had a good run, but it's now time to coalesce behind Hillary Clinton, his, his friend. And he had a lot of glowing praises to say about Hillary Clinton. He said that Hillary was smart, uh, capable, uh, uh, tough, and uh, yeah, and smart and capable and tough. But he did acknowledge she had a problem. People didn't see her as being authentic. That's right, people didn't trust her nor believe her. But he says, hey, that's not such a big deal. People trusted Bush. Meaning, well, Bush didn't turn out to be a good president. So trusting someone doesn't really mean anything. Uh, he went on to say he's not really trying to say, not full-throatedly anyway, trying to say that Bernie should drop out. I mean, because that would be wrong. He doesn't want to alienate Sanders supporters, and it would be bad if they found out what he was saying. Uh, so much for that being on the hush-hush. Then he went on to say how Trump was inevitable and they need to worry about fighting Trump, and the more Sanders kept going, the more he would just damage Hillary and make her weaker to the Republican candidate, which will be Trump. So it's the scare tactics that they're using. You know, you gotta, gotta get in line or else you're gonna have a Trump candidacy, sort of like when the Republicans start talking about, we gotta t take all your rights away, because you know, terrorist. Same thing, man, same thing. And to me, this just confirms what I already knew. Obama is establishment. You know, some people brought that Obama was not establishment because he was a black guy. They thought there ain't no way a black guy gonna be part of the establishment. Then you looked and saw all the money he got from Goldman Sachs and you were like, wow. Then the first thing he does when he gets in office is what? Bail out the banks. Wow. It was against most people too in Congress and most of Americans didn't want us to actually bail out the banks. But he did it anyway because establishment. Then we got Hillary Clinton. I remember Hillary Clinton saying, I'm a woman. How could I be a part of the establishment? Hillary is establishment. And this is, this is establishment politics at its finest or worst, depending on how you look at this thing. So never mind the fact that Hillary hung in until June when she ran in 2008. Never mind the fact there's an immense amount of electricity surrounding Bernie Sanders' campaign with all his volunteers and all the donations for millions and millions of people that Hillary doesn't get so that she would need a fundraiser at $33,000 a seat. Yeah, $33,000 a seat. These are the people that support Hillary, the rich and the famous, which, you know, we already knew that. Here's the thing. As much as you want me to go along with Hillary, I have to tell you like this, Mr. Obama, President Obama, I agree. Trump is horrible. But I submit to you, sir, Clinton is terrible. And I'm not auditioning for some Charles Barkley sound alike contest. Not doing an impression. I really believe that. One's horrible, one's terrible. We want neither one of them. And I know that may come as a surprise to you, but you just recently left me this message and it makes me wonder, which is the real Obama? Yeah, this is uh, the reigning president, Barack Obama. Uh, don't tell anybody, but Bernie Sanders is the guy that has my vote. Uh, Trump, you're just being stupid. Hillary, well, she'll say anything to get elected. 
So don't trust Hillary. I'm telling you, don't do it. Is that that your voice, sir? Talk about stacking the deck. I mean, they've had their finger on the scale the whole time. We got media blackouts. We got the Washington Post running hurtful ads, hurtful uh, articles every other day. We have all of the establishment people coming out. We got black officials, black pastors. Everything's been stacked against Sanders. And now we're finally getting to the point where, you know what, now we can actually do some damage and the rest of America gets to speak. We got people in New York who haven't voted, people in my state of Maryland who haven't voted, people in California who haven't voted, and you want us to call it a day? Well, sir, that's not democratic. Besides, we want to play too. And we will. All right.